event in a week. Basically, they're gonna shut down multiple streets in downtown Phoenix just for the event. And so it's gonna be a pretty big turnout. Um, usually it's over like, I'd say 500 plus vendors. I've definitely been slacking on my product. I don't really have too much to sell at the moment. Okay, so to kind of put into perspective where I am at, um, these are all of my keychains and also these bracelets. So I'm actually not really worried about my necklaces right now just because whenever I am at my events, my necklaces definitely don't sell as much. I feel like it's because of the price. My necklaces usually range from like 15 to like $50. So um, definitely not everybody's purchase, but my keychains and my bracelets, they usually go by really fast. So yeah, I got these. These are so cute. Butterflies as well. These are so cute. So I did only get footage of me making a keychain just because um, I'm going to be honest, I did not really do much. <laughs> um, so I decided on one of my displays just to display both the keychains and my phone charms just because I did not make enough for their individual like display you know what I mean usually I'm pretty motivated to create jewelry but man this month it just was not it so I hope that you're really enjoying watching me make this one keychain <laughs> everything up in the car. Got my sign right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Homemade. Let's go. This is what I'm going to be carrying all my supplies in. Or all my pieces I'm going to be selling today. I've been participating in this event for half a year now and every time I go it's just so much fun I meet such cool people it's just a really big art festival so there's a bunch of art there all kinds of really unique handmade things like there's this vendor that sells taxidermy rats but they're all like rats <laughs> and I think her stuff is so cool I usually make pretty good money over there too, but I'm really looking forward to participating in the months where the weather is a lot nicer and cooler, just because I feel like a lot more people are gonna come out to the event, and then that's where I'm gonna make the big bucks. Thank God my boyfriend's there to help me with the canopy because it's so, so difficult to put together yourself. Also, this frustrated me so bad. <laughs> I was trying to put the tablecloth on and the legs just would not stay down. <sighs> takes around 30 to 45 minutes to get completely set up so the event starts at 6 but we usually get there around 4 30 or 5 and then when we're done setting up we usually take that time to go look around at the other vendors say hi get some food I want to say if you're a small business and haven't done a pop-up event before I really do recommend it it's a lot of fun and it's a really good way to find your audience, also meet new people, and to really get your business out there. Ever since I started doing these events, I've made tons of new friends, gained some new followers, and been inspired to create more. But it's definitely worth it.
doing a video explaining like the essentials and also going into detail about why you should participate in these events. So let me know if that video would be helpful for you. All right, and thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to request a video from me as well, feel free to comment down below. And if I've inspired you to create, tag me on your post so I can check out your creations. All of my social medias are linked down in the description. I do custom work as well, so if you'd like me to create something unique to you, send me a DM. All right, again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.